saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Remember the last moments in the upper room where Jesus was gathered with his disciples, celebrating their last meal together, allowing Jesus to wash their dirty and dusty feet and setting an eternal example of service and ministry and sharing the one bread that would be his body and then one chalice that would be the chalice of his blood poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Remember the responses of the disciples when Jesus told them that one of them would betray him. They all said, not I, Lord. Yet in the end, they would all forsake him, except this one whom he loved, John, the beloved disciple. John took the occasion at the Last Supper to gently rest on the breast of Jesus, taking in his presence that he knew would somehow vanish and be taken away in the brutal hours that were to come. He would truly lay down his life for his Lord and Master. In the end, Jesus entrusted his beloved mother to his beloved disciple. At the foot of the cross, she became the mother of all the living. In this act of union between her and John, and John in turn became the disciple of all the living in his acceptance of the mother of Jesus into his heart and home. With complete trust and confidence, may the risen Christ always find a home in our hearts and lives.